to the vlog. You guys saw a little bit of what I was doing, but it is time. It is that time of the year. Woo, it's Christmas time, baby. I've been in the Christmas mood for a few weeks now, but it is time to finally start decorating for me. My mom has already decorated a lot of the house and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But first, we gotta set up the stuff for my room. Now, I had nothing, not a single thing, not a single Christmas decoration for my room. So that is what we were doing earlier is we were shopping for a couple things for my room and now we're gonna set them up. I don't have like, you'll see, but I don't have like decorations for the things, for the greenery. Um, once I set up the greenery, we'll kind of figure out what the vibe is, what we're kind of going for for my room. Yeah, so we're gonna set up some Christmas decorations today because it is the start of the Christmas season and I love Christmas. My logic is less than a month is not enough time to celebrate Christmas, in my opinion. So you need about a month and a half to two months to just have your decorations up, to be celebrating Christmas, to listen to Christmas music, watch Christmas movies. Less than a month is not enough time to do all those things. So that's why you have to start it a little bit early and that is my logic and I stand by that and I will always stand by that. But I have my little Christmas sweater on. Yeah, we're gonna get into the holiday Christmas spirit and set up some decorations. Yeah, but first we need to light a candle and get the vibes going. Okay. Step one, I bought a little Christmas tree. So that is what we're setting up first. And I think I want it just to go right there on my desk. I think that would be cute. My mom said that we had some extra lights somewhere, so I think I'm gonna go try and find those and then we can wrap the tree a little bit. And then my family has like a big regular tree that we have and I think I might go take some of my ornaments that are like mine and put them on my little tree. Cause I've never had my own little tree before. We always just put all of our ornaments on like the family tree. But I might go grab my, my sentimental ones, like my baby ones and stuff like that and put them on my tree because I think that'd be cute to have like my little special ornaments like baby's first Christmas and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna go grab those and the lights and then we'll, we'll see what else we need. I kind of forgot like the bottom is like not that cute, like the bottom little things, but I don't know if like, I don't know what I would put over that. So we might just leave that for now, but let's go grab those other decorations. So this is the tree that is like our main family tree, but my sister put on some of my, some of my ornaments. We're just gonna have to look around and see if we can find the ones we want. I already see one that I want. This one I want for sure. This is my baby one. I thought it said 2000. Oh, it does right there. There's 2000 on it. This is definitely going on my tree. It is so cute. Oh. I have like three of these little dolls and they are so cute. I gotta find the other two, but these are definitely going on my tree. I don't see them on the tree. So we're gonna dig through this box. I think that's where all of the boxed ornaments are that she didn't put up. Let's look through them. My, I think it's my dad's aunt. My dad's aunt. I don't know what that would be in relation to me, but she used to work for Hallmark. So every year when I was younger, she'd like send us a box and we'd each get an ornament. So she did that up until I was like, I want to say like 18. So like I have a whole bunch of ornaments and sometimes she would just package extra ones that weren't like specifically for us. So we just have tons of ornaments and they're like all from my childhood. So they're all super cute. I honestly don't know where I got those little dolls, but they are so cute. I forgot about those, but those are going on my tree for sure. Okay, 
here's the other one it's a little ice skater and her legs move that is so cute 2002 that's from 2002 that is so cute i found it oh oh my gosh she is so cute too look at her oh and she has like a little doll that's literally her twin right here that you can hang up to but i like having her in the pocket 2003 that's so cute uh now i'm just gonna look in the box and see what else i want to grab i don't know if i want this one up though but it's kind of big now we just have these three that i'm gonna put on my tree so let's go do it they're so cute very cute on camera um okay so let's put some ornaments on I think I could use a couple more ornaments, but it's so cute and I need something for the top. But yeah, just a couple more ornaments would be cute. And yeah, that's my little tree. Mm. I've never had a baby tree before, so I'm pretty excited, guys. And it looks so cute on my desk. I love it. Okay, I wasn't going to announce this in this video. But since my other video is not quite ready yet, I'm gonna tell you in this one, you can probably already tell what I'm gonna say, but my dad fixed my bookshelves, so now it's not a big mess anymore, but you guys don't get to see me putting out my books. You'll have to wait for my next video for that. Aren't they so cute? It looks so good with all my books up there. And so what he did, I don't know if I, I think I explained this in the video, but just in case you guys don't remember, my bookshelves literally ripped themselves from the sheetrock and the wall. So this whole side of my bookshelf came tumbling down. Um, and it's because the screws weren't in studs. I'm pretty sure that's what my dad said. So he just extended the shelf, made it so the screws went into studs. So now they're very sturdy. They should be good. Um, before I had my books like right on the edge, but I pushed them against the wall just to make sure, just in case they were going to come tumbling down again. I just wanted to make sure that they were extra sturdy. So I pushed them against the wall to hopefully make that not happen. I don't know. Yeah, we got our bookshelves up and I'm so happy just in time for the Christmas season. And so you know what that means. We get to put up some decorations on the bookshelves. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is one of the things I bought today. Um, we went to Real Deals, um, which is basically like a home decor store. They have clothing and stuff too. But I got some greenery for my shelves. Let's try it. I got four of these stick things and they are pretty like droopy and stuff. So they should work well. I was thinking of just putting them on my bottom shelf just so they draped down, but we'll take a look see at it and see. So we're going to do that now. I might have to get some fairy lights because that would be super cute to have that lit up. Maybe I should. But 
Um, I was just curious, would you be willing to buy me those fairy, you know the, the fairy lights that are like around the store? Um, would you be willing to like use the credit card and buy me maybe two? I think she's doing it. Is it, you're doing it on your bookshelves, right? Yeah, and I was thinking maybe I could just use those on my tree too. Just because I used a, a strand of the Christmas lights. Do you have a tree? I bought one, <laughs> oh. but I used Christmas lights and they're kind of chunky for the little tree. Okay, sweet. Okay, we'll even get you two new packs. Okay, cool. Yay! Okay. Thanks, Agnes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, bye. love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. So that's cool. Um, then I can replace those because they look cute on camera, but you can see the lights, the green lights, and I don't love that. Maybe, maybe I'm being too picky, but I think if all the lights matched, it would be cute. Last step, we got one more thing to do, and that is my little wreath. I got a wreath for my door, and I think it's so cute. It matches, it matches the greenery that I just put up. Ah! Sorry, I just tripped over my tripod. It matches the greenery I just put up and it like is the flowy greenery, which I love. So this is gonna go up on my door. It's got a little hook and my mom suggested command strips. So we're gonna use command strips. I don't think I've ever used command strips before, so we'll see how it goes. We got these. She said she thinks these will be good enough. Um, instructions. My parents, ever since we were younger, they really just let us like nail in, nail stuff into the walls. <laughs> so that's what we would always do. So I, I don't use these things. Remove, what the? Remove red liner. Oh, I stuck it. Okay, well, that's where it's gonna go. Oopsies. Slide hook off. Cute. And now it says to wait an hour but I want to see what it looks like, so. Oh, it's so cute! Look at it, guys! I love it! So I'm gonna wait an hour, and then I'm gonna put this back up. We're gonna exchange the lights so my sister comes home. That's in like an hour and a half-ish. And then we'll see what it all looks like. I'm so excited. What I'm gonna work on right now is the table. She is looking for something for the middle right now because we don't want this red thing. I'm gonna set up the table with some Christmas plates and um, I'll show you. These cute, cute little Christmas tree plates and then we're gonna do a napkin and then these cups which are from Christmas vacation. This is what Eddie the cousin like drinks eggnog with these moose cups so we bought our dad these. <laughs> Then when my mom comes home, we're gonna do the middle. But for now, we're just gonna set up the plates and stuff. So let's do that. These are what we're putting under the plates. table's looking like so far. Obviously need something in the middle because it's pretty bare, but that's what my mom's working on. We kind of discussed what we were kind of going for and what we decided would look best with the aesthetic of the plates and everything. Uh, so we're just waiting for my mom to come home. It's the next day, unfortunately, but my sister forgot to bring me my little fairy lights yesterday. So we're gonna put those up today. It's honestly, I had to turn my light lights on, which I don't do very much because it's super rainy and gloomy outside. I'll show you guys. It's so sad. 
But anyways, we're gonna put up our Christmas lights. I put up my other Christmas sweatshirt. I had that green one and this one, and that's pretty much all that I have. So I thought I'd be a little festive again today for you guys. I got the lights here, little fairy lights from Real Deals again. And I got two of them because I'm putting one on my bookshelf and one on my tree, but we gotta take the old ones off my tree first. Got it. I think this is gonna look a lot better. Okay, let's test it out just to make sure. That's so cute. Let's do this. Did the front like this instead of wrapping it around the whole back and everything and i think it works really good okay now it's time to do the garland <laughs> off and see what it looks like because I want a big final reveal. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I think I'm going to make some hot chocolate and enjoy my Christmas lights. This is your sign to go put up your Christmas lights and your decorations even if you're not in the mood yet, it'll get you in the mood. That is it. Thank you guys for watching so much and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye!